help Biafra. This is Biafra Liberation Army Network coming to you again. Please do subscribe, like, share, and comment. Our leader has cried out again from DSS. He said, what kind of thing is this? Namdi Kano cries out. He said, appeal caused failure to hear suit brought by IPOP since 2018 to challenge its prosecution. This is horrible. You see why we say we will not remain in Nigeria. The leader of indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP leader Namde Kano, has expressed his displeasure and rejection of the failure of the Court of Appeal to hear the appeal challenging the prescription of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB as a terrorist organization by the Nigerian government. The Abuja Division of the Court of Appeal had in March fixed October 16th to hear the appeal filed by IPO to challenge its prescription as a terrorist organization. However, Kano's lawyer, Barrister Aloy Ejimako, on Monday said that the case filed in 2018, Mark CAA 214-2018, was listed for hearing as scheduled as of Friday when they checked the registry, but they were surprised that when they got to the court, the court had been removed from the registry without any communication of such change to them. Ejimako also said that the court did not give a new date to hear the appeal. He vowed that he would write the appellate court to get a new date, which according to him must not be more than 10 days from Tuesday. <laughs> we are talking about today, Ejimako said the case was listed for hearing last on 7th of March, but was adjourned the same day without a hearing because of election petition. Today was the next date, and by Friday, when we checked the registry, it was on, it was on the course list. But today, on arrival in court, we were surprised it was no longer on the course list for today. The reason again was election petition. Ejimako said that Kano has decried the adjournment, alleging that the Court of Appeal refusal to hear the IPOP appeal challenging its prescription is an indirect affirmation of the unjust prescription. Uh, yeah, prescription. He said, I just exited from visitation with Kano, Namde Kano, and he asked me to, on his behalf, publicly decry the adjournment earlier today of the appeal filed by IPO against his prescription since 2018. The refusal to hear this appeal indirectly affirms injustice of the prescription. Ichimako, however, said that we are submitting a letter tomorrow, first light morning, to strongly request a new date, no later than 10 days from tomorrow. The Nigerian government, under former President Muhammad Buhari, prescribed IPOP over its alleged killing and other atrocities in its agitation for the actualization of Biafra Nation. On January 18, 2018, a federal high court sitting in Abuja held that the prescription of the IPOP by the former president, Buhari's government, was in order. Justice Abdul Abdul Karafati of the Federal High Court prescribed IPOP based on the experte motion filed by the then Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice Abu Bakr Malami Sam on behalf of Nigerian government, specifically declaring as illegal all IPOP activities particularly in the southeast and south-south region of Nigeria. But the group approached the Court of Appeal, insisting that the trial court erred in law, praying for the court to set aside the order of the lower court at the notion esparte. IPOP, in its five grounds of appeal, contended that Justice Ab Abdul Karafati erred in law and occasioned a miscarriage of justice when he ruled 
that the mandatory statutory condition requiring Buhari's approval under Section 2 1 C of the Terrorism Prevention Amendment Act 2013 was satisfied on the authority of a memo of AGF issued on September 15, 2017. That is what we are saying. When we keep quiet, they say, oh, we are fools. When we talk, they say, oh, we are terrorists. Where do you want to put your head? Which way, Nigeria? You have to sit and discuss the prescription because it's miscarriage of justice. He was not rightly done. I pop means indigenous people of Biafra. And they are seeking for self-determination. Um, it is a right, inalienable right of every human being to determine where he or she stays. Because you have to be comfortable where you call your country. But the level of injustices method as IPOP, Igbo generally, is making us to say, Kamajiku Shi Nkogo. Moto Moto, that is the only language they will understand. We have written, they don't want to understand. We have talked, they don't want to understand. We have done everything we know we can do. Oh, hell no, they don't want to understand. But this time we have picked up our, our, our all answer. Our all answer, they have pushed us finally to all answer level. You know what I mean. All answer will give them what they want. The only pie pie sound. That they understand that water woto is the only sound that can bend them well and can destroy whatever they hold at estate because when that thing is burnt down i wonder how they will be as i speak to you now all the men in uniform they are on the run in the southeast because the only language they speak to us is the same language we are now speaking to them that by 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 Woto Woto, the only language, the only language that will bend the zoo. Zoological Republic is indeed house of injustices, house of commotion, house of hate against the evils. We preach it, we see it, they are not even repenting. So, the earlier all of you join hands together and say, no, give them what they want. Stop defending evil. We are not afraid. Of what they will call it if they call it terrorism so be it upon them but we call it self-determination we call it armed struggle they pushed us to that for a very long time they've been killing our people and they think we'll keep quiet forever no no it will not happen that way my dear people that is what we have brought today remember this is coming from Biafra Liberation Army Network that is it thank you